Hi everyone, Helen here from Helen Kirk and Crafts and today I'm going to show you how you can use the scanning cut with a little bit of a cheat um, and cut out the photographs um, that you might like to cut out that otherwise you wouldn't be able to because there is no solid black line. So first of all I take a piece of acetate and a permanent black pen and I just pop the acetate over the top of the photo and as you can see I just uh, sl slowly draw around the image and the part of the, Im the photo that I want to cut out. I use a fairly heavy weight acetate, but I'm pretty sure any acetate would be fine. Um, and these, it's, as I said, it's just a permanent pen so that when um, you put this into the machine, it doesn't rub off the black or anything like that. And then once I've finished drawing around it, making sure that I've got every piece I want cutting out, I'm going to bring in my mat and I'm going to place the photograph onto the mat. And then I'm going to pop the acetate sheet over the top and I'm going to line it up with the photo. Now you could have, if you wanted to, you could have put the photo on first, then put the acetate and then draw around it uh, rather than doing sort of the two steps that I have. But it's completely up to you which way you do it. Um, obviously, just make sure that it lines up exactly where you had it before. And once that's stuck down, I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape and I'm just going to pop it to the top of the acetate. And this is going to work as a hinge so that I can hinge the acetate sheet up, but not move it away from the lined up of the photograph. So as you can see, I'm just peeling it away, but that piece of washi tape will hold the top in place so that it stays exactly where it should be once I put it back down. Then I'm going to put some white card underneath so that the photograph's covered up and then pop the acetate sheet back down. If you've never scanned an image in before and cut it out with the machine, what it needs is a full line all the way outside, a full outside edge to be able to read it. So what we're doing is we're just fooling the machine to think that it is just an outside edge, which of course it is. It's just that I've drawn around the photo. We're then gonna scan in the image on direct cut. And you can see is there's the picture. And we're just gonna zoom in so that it doesn't pick up any of the other lines or the line of the washi tape or anything like that, just the photo. We press preview because we've changed something and I'm happy that that is my image and it's got the full outside edge. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, and we're gonna take it onto our machine. Now what we need to do now, um, we're gonna select cut, but we need to do a little bit of extra work. This is the sort of hack that I was talking about. We now peel away the acetate, we peel away the white card, and it still thinks that it's gonna cut that outside edge, but what it's actually gonna do is cut around the photo. But we've created a solid black line by drawing on the acetate. So now we've fooled the machine into thinking it's a solid black line. It's going to cut out where we want on the photograph. And what's great is I haven't had to go in any other software, nowhere near Canvas Workspace or anything like that to do it just a little bit of a hack and I can cut out uh, photographs that usually wouldn't work because there's too much detail. So there it is, it's just gonna check it just like normal. It's gonna check the mat, it's gonna check the material, work out the depth between the photo and the mat so it can then cut out that image for me and I could be using that on the front of a card, on a scrapbook page, whatever I want. And so there's me and my mum cut out of my photo, ready to use for whatever I like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks so much.